this segment, I'll take a look at Open and Save and all of the different formats that you can use um, with Wings Modular. So we just created this Venere cut design and obviously the next thing you would want to do with it if you were going to stitch this out is you would want to save it. And so what I would do to save that, I guess you have an option right here on the um, sort of Windows toolbar for save, which is I guess this one here, save or open. And you can also just use the file drop down menu and you can choose open or save now I guess you also could use your shortcut keys control S for save and control O for open so why don't we try saving this design so I'll say control S or just simply choose the save from the file drop down menu so a window opens up and it gives you the ability to browse the different locations of your computer you can see that I am currently set to save this design to a folder called embroidery designs but I could browse um, to any location in my computer that I wanted to and save it on my C drive or my desktop or whatever folder that you've got that you'd like to save your designs to and um, so if you wanted to save the design on, onto a card to go into your embroidery machine you may have like a PC ATA card then that also could be accessed here or, or you could easily save the design to a location on your hard drive and then come and use just drag and drop um, with your Windows Explorer to save it onto an ATA card so I'll come and I'll follow up with that um, in a in another segment but basically this is where you're choosing where you want to save your embroidery design and that's what this is for and if you wanted to you could create a new folder so under my embroidery designs um, if you wanted to create a folder that was called Trevor's designs and you could go ahead and have any folder that you want to save your designs now down towards the bottom here we have the file name so basically what do you want to call it and, it, and right now it comes up untitled because I had never saved uh, the original star that we created um, in the previous segment I had never saved it or given it a name so basically it's just deep by default called untitled number one but maybe I want to call it star and I'll call it star cut you can give it any name you want now the next option you have here is save as type and I'm just gonna click on this triangle to open up the options and you'll see that there's quite a large list of formats that you can cho choose to save a design to so if you want to save a design for your um, Genomi machine then you want to choose Jeff format but you'll see that there's commercial formats in here um, anything like Tajima or SWF Melco um, but there's also all sorts of domestic programs as well so basically this is your options for formats to save this embroidery design from Wings Modular and so we'll just I'll just go ahead and choose Genomi Jeff format and then basically outside of that you have the ability to um, you know put in here some sort of details this generally would come from your uh, design information so we don't enter that in here but if we had and we'll we'll look at the design information in a later on segment and if we populate um, the details of our design information then those things will show up here and be saved as part of your design but basically that's what you would do so you would choose save and I guess what I'll do maybe is I'll just save this to my desktop so that it's easy for me to find later and so I'm gonna go ahead and save the design star dash cut dot Jeff to my desktop push save and because I've chosen Genomi as my format I get this little box and basically it's asking me to choose and in this case with Genomi there's only one option but if you're um, a commercial machine user there may be two or three options here that you need to choose specifically the the machine format that you use so for me it's Genomi generic and um, these are I guess your ability to control the maximum stitch length that you want to have in between objects in your design and so that's something that's a little bit specific and you don't find every day um, but the default is 12 millimeters which is sort of the maximum uh, av available on a Genomi sewing machine and so we'll just leave it at that and then I'm gonna say okay so there it says I've saved the design 3448 stitches and I could therefore take that design from my desktop which you can see it's up here over top of the um, I guess I would have to I've zoomed in it's on my desktop and I could um, save that design to a PC, PCATA card for use on my Genomi sewing machine or I could 
email it to my friend if I wanted to. And it's a very similar process to open a design. So there's a you know the button right here on the on the desktop. I'll say open, and basically it opens up um, a window that allows you to browse the contents of your computer. And so the at the beginning it tells me what folder I'm looking in, the Creative Drawing samples. That's where I'm currently looking. I could navigate to any folder in my computer by using this window, this box here. You can also go to sort of recent places that you may have used. So by mine by default are just my desktop and whatnot. Now it shows me in here um, designs that are in this folder, this drawing samples. And this is also um, my view menu. I could choose here the size. So right now they're large icons. If I went to medium icons, it's going to show me more designs, but a little bit smaller picture of them. And so whatever, whatever design, why don't I go ahead and click on this frog design and you'll see that the frog actually comes up down at the bottom and it tells me information about that design, like the number of stitches and the number of colors and the dimensions and the size or the number of bytes that it takes for that design. And so then th this is the name of the design that I'm choosing to open. And right now I'm only looking at files of type .ngs. These are embroidery designs that came with the software. But if I choose, again, to click on this window, you'll see that there's many different formats that could be opened. Um, again, everything from commercial formats like Tajima and SWF to all sorts of um, domestic machines, including Genomi and all sorts of other formats that you can open up. So that's the complete list. It shows there all of the different types of embroidery files that you could open. And so if I say all embroidery files down at the last choice at the bottom, then that will show me not just the NGS files, but any embroidery files that are found within the folder that I'm currently looking at. And you can see here there's a slider that allows me to um, browse down. Like if I click in, in here, it'll show me them sort of a page at a time, or I can just move down one row at a time. Anyway, once you select on the image that you like, then you would choose open. Now there are some uh, specialized things in here that again have some um, specialized uses. Uh, for example, if you had a ZSK, which is a commercial embroidery machine, and you had designs for that, then there I guess there's options between the new versions and the old versions. Um, then for Tajima formats, the number of cuts for a jump stitch sort of how many jumps before you'll get a trim command. So there's some things that you can control in here. I'm not sure that they're going to specifically apply for the case of the artistic sewing suite user, uh, but that's what they're there for. And again, if you want to specifically learn about something like that, you may need to refer to the help menu, which I'll highlight in a moment. So anyways, I've got a fancy sun design highlighted, and I'm just going to go ahead and say open, and you'll see that that sun design is going to open up and become on my desktop of my wings modular software now one thing I'll highlight before I finish this segment is because I opened up a design and you can see in my sequence manager all the different colors of this design and all the different colors that are in the color manager that are used in this design um, but what you're going to see now is um, if I use the window drop down menu we can see here that I have untitled number one. So our star design is still open. And we also have this sun design, this CDW0139.ngs. So the idea is you can open up multiple designs at the same time. So I thought I would highlight that because I'd opened it. So that's a little bit about opening and saving designs using the Wings modular software.